Hi everyone! Today I'm here with my friend Kadeem and surprisingly to everyone who knows us, we're gonna be baking. Which is a disaster. We think that happened. I like to bake, but today we're gonna be baking for the looks. We're gonna be baking for the presentation. We're gonna make a Disney themed cake with different movies represented and it's probably gonna be a disaster. I've never done anything with fondant before. We're gonna try and shape a double elephant. Like, I don't know how... This is 100% Kadeem's idea. I would, yeah, never, I, mean, I would never suggest this. I'm happy making banana bread that looks like a mess that tastes good. This, this is, is not my thing. Great. <laughs> so yeah, wish us luck for the occasion. I mean, this is always the apron I wear, so... <laughs> Basically, this is the plan. This is Kadeem's lovely drawing. It's so work of art. Like, okay, <laughs> so the whole cake is gonna be Disney themed, as I mentioned. So it's gonna be Dumbo the Flying Elephant with some clouds. This is the Heart of Tafiti from Moana. This is Aladdin's lamp, which is gonna be in a cave in the cake. We'll see how <laughs> this goes. Here's the Sword in the Stone and the Crocodile from Peter Pan with a clock in its mouth. And here's some sea water. <laughs> the cake is gonna be a chocolate cake with salted coffee buttercream. I'm just reading from this. <laughs> As you can tell, like this is all Kadeem's making. And also, like I don't have fancy baking equipment. I literally have like basic things. Preheat oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Step one. Step one is complete. Success. We're so good okay. at this. Now we need to add flour, sugar, cocoa, baking powder, baking soda, salt. Which the other sip? No. Oh, okay, that's fine. We're gonna have a lumpy cake. Do you have a whisk? I have a Scandinavian whisk. Okay, that's fine. It'll work. Everyone makes fun of this whisk, but it's great. Oh my god, two cups of sugar. Oh, that's so much sugar. I think that's fine. Like, I don't need my cake to be that crazy. It's so lumpy. I think we should eat the whole Yeah. Why is it stuck in there? I'm great at this. So, baking powder, two teaspoons. I can't open the baking powder. <laughs> I know that one, one and a half. Well, these are kind of a pain to open. Saints Brace. Fix what your shit. Do it! <laughs> I always put like a little extra on this. Like, this cake is just gonna like blow up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll see about that. The next thing we need is milk, vegetable oil. <laughs> <laughs> this is me whisking, but that's about with the Scandinavian whisk, to be fair. Oh my god, this is gonna be such a lumpy cake. Well, I think we might need to split the batter into those two bowls. Yeah, yeah like this is definitely not mixed properly. <laughs> I don't think that was actually hot. Watermilk is like so gross. Ew, oh, that looks disgusting. Yeah, no, it's gross. Since it's a Disney theme video, it's appropriate. I feel like oh, Mary yes. Wadda baking the cake. <laughs> no, not Mary Wadda. It's a uh, Fauna. Yeah. Fauna baking the cake in, in Sleeping Beauty, where she's like counting exactly what needs to go in, but she's like yeah. just dropping the whole egg. So, a uh, tip that I think I picked up and nailed it, maybe. Oh! What was that you said about Fauna <laughs> A tip that I picked up and nailed it, I think, as I was saying before, to the drop of milk. Crack your eggs on a flat surface, not on the edge of a bowl, to avoid shells yet. Maybe it seems like obvious, but to me it's really not. I always used to crack my eggs on the side of a bowl and there would always be eggshells in. These bowls are flimsy, like these are like Poundland bowls that I bought for Halloween, so I'm just glad they're getting another use basically. Oh, we need boiling water. How much water? One cup. And we also need vegetable oil. Half a cup of vegetable oil. That seems like quite a lot. Nothing to see here. Okay, so leave a comment down below. What? do you do with your eggs? Do you leave them in the fridge or out of the fridge? Suda puts hers in the fridge and I leave mine out of the fridge. But if I was in a hot country like Trinidad where I grew up, we would put them in the fridge. But Tuna's from Norway where it's cold and she still puts hers in the fridge. Yeah, and they're in the fridge in the store. In Norway, but not here. In the UK, yeah, here. They're not in the fridge Which is why in the store. I'm in the fridge. Oh, I don't know. Just leave But to me, just because us. for me, eggs just go in the fridge, but I know this is a huge, like, debate. That's about enough. Right, we need more than half a cup. Oops. I see it as a pour it right in there. I'm just literally wasting it for the water to boil. This is why you should like read through the recipe so that you can prepare. Yeah, that's my, you know my you flaw. I never read the recipe before. I get the ingredients and then I read the recipe and I'm like, actually, I don't think I can do this. Yeah, and then it's like, take the butter out like two hours before and it's like, I'm gonna bake now. Yeah, so. like, uh, <laughs> that's not gonna work. <laughs> turn it to, no, here. Wait, oh, you turn this on. Okay, oh. <laughs> You know, the amount of liquid that we put in here, it's not very good. Yeah, but it's not supposed to be liquid. The way the bowl just folds. Yeah, the bowl is, is not hard plastic, guys. So. Yeah, the bowl, um, the bowl is terrible water. What do they do? 
constantly moving furniture around is what it sounds like. Should we combine the boxes? That looks so yummy. I just want to just pour it into my mouth. <laughs> this looks so good though. I'm it feels like I'm just a, a witch stirring my cauldron. <laughs> so Tuna is currently buttering the pans. Now that our mixture has been mixed. It's a little bit clumpy, and that's okay. The fun part comes when we have to decorate the cake. Oh my god. This is we're, the easy we're here, part, guys. We're here acting like this is hard. <laughs> this is the easy part, as you probably know. But yeah. baking a cake, oh my god, it's not rocket science. Exactly. This is, like, most rocket, people can do this. The rocket science comes when, when we do When we're gonna make a dumbo. Or a lamb, or a fucking crocodile. People are only allowed to look at this cake from a distance. <laughs> Imagine if it comes looking really good. <laughs> at the end of this video, it's gonna be a thing. Remember what I said, how <laughs> it comes out looking really good. Alright, let's... Pour the batter. Don't look at the ugly butter work. It's not, it's not great. Look at that bowl. This bowl, I know. I'm like, please don't fall. It's hard to even like <laughs> scoop. Stuff. Oh, don't make me laugh. This video is gonna be shaky. We're going in. We're going in. For how long? 30 to 35 minutes. Hey, go, go. Set an alarm for 25 minutes. We gotta be safe. Okay, next we have to do our buttercream. Oh no, we should make the rice crispy treats first. It's clean, by the way. I just made popcorn and I burped it, and it just <laughs> stay in the pot. Story of the oh. Okay, we need. <laughs> okay, two is gonna come keep laughing for twenty minutes. <laughs> what can I say? I'm easy to entertain. <laughs> okay, so three tablespoons of butter. I can't even get. <laughs> of this box. It looks really retro. How many cups? Four. Should I put them all in? Once I mix it, it should be okay. It's so thick. So like... Start your computations. Is it supposed to be like pressed like to... It's, it's supposed to be evenly spread across the pan. Okay. Okay, so Tuna has pressed the Rice Krispie Treats onto their tray and now they're going to be put into the oven. There Ooh, we go. Look at those cakes though. Come on, don't let too much heat out. They'll sink. I am a noob, okay? <laughs> okay, so now the Rice Krispie Treats are in there, the cakes are in there. Now we need to make the buttercream, which is basically just butter and icing sugar mixed together. So much Ooh. puff, like. Yeah, we're gonna be inhaling this. Go on, there we go. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Why did you think that it was a good idea that I would do this? So the recipe also said to add two to three tablespoons of boiling water. So we're boiling some water right now. I like don't want to make it go flying again. You have to do it. Yes! <laughs> oh, I yeah, don't know how long the Rice Krispies need to be in. This is why you read the recipe before you make food. This it, is a learning experience. Uh, it does not say. <gasps> they weren't supposed to go in the oven! <laughs> oh my god! I was wondering. I thought it was weird, actually. Oh my god! Okay, let me take them off the pan, because the pan is obviously going to keep cooking them. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be able to shape these now. <laughs> That's so funny. I just assumed because it said put on a tray that it had to go into the oven. I think it's fine. It's only been in there for like 10 minutes. They're still cooking. Um, put them in the fridge. It'll cool them down. Or the freezer. Okay, I'm just gonna use the room. That was a genuine mistake. I assumed too much. Okay, there we go. Okay, the Rice Krispies are in the freezer and cooling. Back to our buttercream. Hey, this is starting to look better. But do you want to put them lower? Yeah. So that they, they don't cook that much? Yeah, on the top. Yeah. Oops. But this is just supposed to be like espresso whatever, right? Yeah, just like really strong shot of coffee. So guys, this salted coffee... <laughs> he didn't take the lid off before he started grinding the salt. I just thought it was not hot already. This salted coffee buttercream was my idea. I don't know if you're supposed to put salt in anything, but I put salt. 
Did we did we salvage it? <laughs> That's all we'll have to find out when we are. Do you want me to put it on the table? Ooh. Okay, there we go. Well, I don't need a battle or ruin that. Or maybe we already ruined it. Hey Google, stop! Hey Google, stop! <laughs> okay, maybe it's okay, maybe it'll... Hey Google, stop! I swear, all my neighbors hear of me is just me screaming at my Google Mini. Okay, so my, my face was like that because then when I saw the color, I was like, oh my god, how are we gonna food, put food coloring in this? But I think it'll still work. I think it'll be okay. Yeah, because it's not like it's really, really yeah, dark. Yeah, I now. thought it was going to be really dark, but then when I started mixing it, it got, like, obviously lighter. Can I taste it? Yeah. I really want to taste it. Yeah, it's good. Mm. I love that. I could eat that. That's good. Oh my god, that is. I'm gonna so good. lick this cake. Okay, at least we didn't fail on the mustard. Kidding, well done. And the salt is just a little bit yeah. of a twinge. Oh. Mm. Okay, guys, the cakes just came out of the oven. We're not sure if they're burnt. They look um, a, bit, a little bit weird. We're gonna have to cut off the tops, but that's okay. That We're gonna. Put them into the freezer now because we want them to cool quickly so we can put icing on them. So I'm gonna try putting them in the freezer like they do in Sugar Rush and stuff. We don't obviously tuna doesn't have a blast freezer because like this is normal life. So I'm Not, a normal person. Yeah, exactly. I'm putting them on a dish towel because they're gonna like melt my freezer drawer. <laughs> And we're just gonna leave them in there for a few minutes. That's because we don't want to mess up the cakes, we don't want the texture to be weird, but we need them to cool. So we've gone for a royal blue color, and then we also have a apple green, which we're gonna then combine with some pitch black to see what that gives us. For the C effect on the top of the cake... <laughs> I'm scared. That's good. This is going to be much darker to sort of balance out because you know the ocean isn't all one color. Yeah, so um, it's just going to give the ocean some life. <laughs> we can um, start rolling on the phone. I'm excited for that. This is where we have to decide the color of the outside of the cake. Maybe yellow? No, wait, what, what do you think? Well, it's supposed to be like, it's underneath the ocean, sort of like, cavern, because we cut into the cake together. Yeah, really, it should be brown. So it should be a brown, which isn't really a flattering color, but... Yeah, should we try to mix brown and like a little bit of orange or something yeah. to make it a little bright-ish? Okay, yeah. We're going to have to roll it into a sort of rectangular shape to cover the cake. First, we have to cut the cake to make sure it's, you know, even. Combine them together with some buttercream in the middle and then cover them with buttercream on the outside so that when we drape the fondant over it, it sticks to the cake in palm and so pliable. This is really soft. It's quite soft. Right? It's actually really satisfying to, like, yeah. play around with. I wash my hands, by the way, just so you know. Oh, yeah, we're washing our hands all the time. Oh. So this is our for both of our first experiences with fondant. We're about to add some brown and some sunset yellow to the fondant to color it. I think we're gonna start just with some brown. How much do you think we need? That's enough. Ooh. And now Tuna's just gonna knead this in with her hands into the fondant to color it. We might need some more, but we'll see as we go along. Yeah. Oh, it's so sticky. Any professional bakers who watch this, I'm very sorry. If you're a professional baker and you made it this far, I'm impressed. <gasps> I was like, is this yellow? That's good. Ooh. It's sunset yellow. Yeah. Now what you do, fold it, into, fold it in half and then just roll it into like a long piece. Roll it straight up into like a long, thin, like rolling pin shape and then straight back down. Or does it not work like that? I'm just, I'm just making things up here, guys. I don't actually know what I'm telling her to do. Yeah. Okay, good. Bloop, bloop. Let's see what it looks like now. Yeah, it looks like there's like little streaks. It looks like woodish. Yeah, I like this. Let's check out on the cakes, shall we? It sounds a bit funny to say that I'm open the freezer. Okay, yeah, they're cold enough to, to do the thing. There we go. The cakes are out. Okay, we're just gonna um <laughs> try <laughs> to roll out this fondant. <laughs> Okay guys, Ooh, we fell there. I have rolled out the fondant and then rolled it onto the pin because I think that's how you have to do it to drape it over the cake. I'm not sure if it's going to be wide enough for the cake. I don't think it will be, but we'll see. Okay, let's see. Well, they're going to be really easy to get out. Ooh, this one came out. 
Ooh, well, almost perfect is a bit of a thing, but it looks really moist. Oh, well, that's because of the butter, definitely. Oh my gosh, it's so light. Yeah, like, I thought fluffy. it was going to be heavy. I thought it was going to be denser. But no, it, it looks really, really good. We're going to just cut the tops off there for the cake there. But I... Okay, so anyone who knows me knows I'm not good with knives. I always cut myself. And yet, yeah, Tuna has put me to cut the top of the cake off. Yeah, I don't know why I did this. With a nice level hand. Well, that <laughs> is not a level hand. <laughs> it's so funny how you said level at that exact moment. I want to taste this. I think it's really good. Yeah. A little crunchy. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna eat those. Good enough. <laughs> so now what we need to do is we're gonna put buttercream into the center. I eat our glue. <laughs> of the cake. You always want a nice layer of buttercream evenly spread so that every slice of cake contains the same amount of buttercream. I feel like I should be doing this with a knife. So there we go, we have our wonderful cake covered in buttercream. Nice. Oh, I'm nervous watching you with a knife. <laughs> nice. Okay. Do it. It's a sandwich. It's assembled. I feel like this was not smart. It's I feel nice. like professional cake people don't sandwich their cakes like that. I think there's a lot of things professional cake makers wouldn't be doing. Don't you think it would be better to use like a normal spoon or anything else than that? Fine, yeah, okay. You might be the buttercream sparkling expert. Oh, oh, me. I regret saying something. I regret, I regret I literally everything. don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so but I do. Well, I guess it doesn't really have to look nice. Yeah, it's gonna be covered in like a drapery or fondant anyway. So our buttercream work isn't the best, but it'll have to do. It could be worse. It could be worse, That's my but motto it'll, for it'll, this video. it'll work. Okay guys, moment of truth. I'm 100% sure it's not going to cover the whole thing, but we're about to drape. Oops, oh. that did not go as planned. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It's not centered. I mean, not that this thing is even, but. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh. This actually isn't this bad. It, no, it, there's a little gap. It's a little, little gap, gap that I can maybe try Yeah, to... let's just patch that up. I don't care that much. This could be the back. Wow. Kadeem, wow. you did this. I did that. Ooh. I love the swirl effect. Yeah, I really like the color. I think it's really, really like what we wanted or yeah, like what it's... envisioned. Oh, it's even broken. I'll, I'll patch it up a bit. I'm just making it worse. It's... How am I going to cut the edges off? With great difficulty. Look at that clean cut. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, I spoke too soon. Ooh. Okay, that's one piece of fondant. That's another piece of fondant. Nailed it, come on. Oh, not even nailed it, sugar rush, come on. If I was on sugar rush, I think whoever was on my team it would kill me. I cut this too high. Oh. It's okay. Now, the real trick <laughs> in this cake, which now that I think about it, it's probably not going to come to pass. <laughs> is to cut into the side and add oh. Aladdin's lamp. Okay, cut into the cake, stab the cake, the log. Not too big, but not too small. <laughs> Ooh, it is a cave! It's a cave, guys. Nope. Mmm. So moist. Okay, now on to decorating. Whoa, the best part! Oh, that go. looks so cute. Okay guys, so we have a cave where Aladdin's lamp will sit, or the genie's lamp will sit. It's not perfect, but it will do. It's quite nice, I think. We put a little light in there. But now comes the hard part where we have to take our Rice Krispies treats and form them into Arthur's sword, Dumbo, the Heart of Tafiti, the lamp, and a crocodile. And a clock. And a clock. Oh my god. Okay, so we've been dyeing the um, fondant to make the colors that we need for the different characters and stuff. This is where we are getting to the really challenging part. Literally, I've <laughs> never worked with fondant before today and it is a bitch. It is not easy. It's it's quite difficult. Dumbo's legs are different sizes. He has a trunk that doesn't look much like a trunk. But you know, we're making it work. Cause the legs don't have to be all the same size. Yeah, we just gotta we just gotta try. 
So I'm just adding some detail to this fondant, the heart of Tafiti. And I'm working on the alarm clock that the crocodile in Peter Pan has swallowed. So it's gonna be in his mouth. Just gonna buttercream the beach. So these are chopped up peanuts and they're gonna be the sand. So that's about the length of the beach. Just so like the bottom layer of peanuts at least will stick to the cake. It's a beach. It's a beach. Okay, I think that's enough peanuts. So now I'm gonna make the sea. It's not gonna be very wavy, but you know, it's a sea. Mm -hmm. Trying to get that like wave effect, you know. <laughs> Sometimes sand ends up in. There is sand under the water. Okay. Yeah, guys? there's literally sand there's there. There's literally sand under the it's water, okay. so it's fine. Okay. We don't have piping bags, so we're just giving it that effect, that whoosh. <laughs> of the tide on the beach. But it looks good at that ocean is like thick. That's so pretty though, I love it. It's a beach enough, right? This is good. You have a wave swelling in the back, ready to crash on the shore. Yeah, I think oh. that's a beach. Through the camera, it's worse than it does in real life, okay guys? I mean, I'm gonna say that anyways. Okay, back to the hard part. <laughs> that's gonna be the heart of Tafiti. I know it's not what the heart of Tafiti really looks like, but that's gonna have to work. I have my sword in my stone, which looks a little sad, but sword in the stone, guys, it's in there. Oh, that crocodile looks good. Oh, great, the only thing I have to dump on the lamp. It looks like someone just took, like, a door handle and, like, threw it in there. <laughs> Do you want to make the lamp? I can try. I think you'll be better at it, because it's small, and you clearly are really good at making the small objects. <laughs> This is a dowel. This is what Dumbo will be sat on. And I have to shove this through the cake. I didn't even know what this was before Kadeem started talking about this video. I'm scared. Uh, I want to film this because if you ruin the cake with that, uh, we need to get that on video. This is the crocodile that Kadeem keeps praising me for. It looks like a frog with teeth. <laughs> I'm supposed to go here. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Oh! Don't mention it. <laughs> Don't jinx it. So right now I'm shaping the clouds to cover the doll that Dumbo will sit on. This is the um, clock. I just want to kind of show this because it's probably going to get destroyed in the crocodile's mouth. So just so you know. The detail in this crocodile. Okay guys, we started shaping Dumbo. That's what it looks <laughs> like right now. It looks really sad. Oh my god, I literally just started touching it and it's already too much. That's the thing, it's so oh. temperamental. Oh my god, it's okay, like that's Dumbo's the hat. That's what I was thinking. Was like, oh, 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 oh. Imagine if he was just. Oh no! no, no, no. <laughs> you know those like kid TV shows where there's like Play Doh and someone smashes the Play Doh and it's supposed to be funny? That's my humor, apparently. I'm sorry, we're probably blocking what we're doing, but that's because we're actually doing work. It's hard to not block it because you kind of want to do it well but show it at the same time. We don't have a camera team, you know? I don't know why I said that with such an attitude. <laughs> like everyone, everyone else has one. Kadeem's making the ears. Yeah, trying. So we have two very differently shaped ears even though I tried really hard to make them the same shape. Okay, these are Dumbo's ears and now this is his yeah, inside it just of needs his to ears. Someone is running out of patience. I am literally. <laughs> this has been like six hours of baking, guys. Do you want me to do it? Yes, please. I got impatient, so Tuna is working on his ears. We just need to add some pink to them and then stick it on his head. Someone has no compassion for him. I don't know how it's going to stick exactly, but we'll try and we'll make it work. The pink is not even sticking to the gray. Look! Okay, the, final... the final touch is on our yes. Dumbo's second ear, which I don't really know how exactly I'm going to attach it. Yeah, that ear might be worse than the first one, so... Oh look goodness. how cute though! He actually looks like Dumbo! And his little heart. 
It's so cute. Oh my gosh, his ear's breaking! Ah! Ah! Dumbo needs surgery! Nailed it! <laughs> this is the finished product. We have our crocodile, our sword in the stone, our tarted to feet to eat, our flying Dumbo, and our magic lamp in a cave. Mm. You know, I think we did pretty freaking good considering we've never used these things before. Okay, we're done. We did it. We did I it. I'm so proud of us. We did yeah, so I, much I better agree. than I, I thought. So I know if you guys look at this, you might think like, oh my god, it looks so wonky and dingy and all this. For it, but we put so much work into this. Honestly, we made all of this. I think my favorite feature is the water. The water came out amazing. And the crocodile looks really good. Much better than anything I would have made if I was put it that way. I also love the light feature with the cave. Yeah, it, I like it that as well. really has that yeah. cave of wonders feel. I love it. But yeah, please let us know how you think this went and let us know your favorite part about the cake. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave us a thumbs up. We put a lot of work into this. So, much work. <laughs> so please like and subscribe. <laughs> and I shall see you next Friday with a new video. Keep it the good vibes. Bye!